How much does it cost to move family from Europe, Latvia, to Thailand, Bangkok? Let's figure that out. You need visas, right? So to get visa, as freelancer, most of us who are doing any remote work, freelancing and, ho and so on, we can apply as digital nomads for DTV, so name it DTV visa. It's five years visa, which allows you to multiple entries in Thailand. There are some nuances, basically you have to stay for one 180 days then you have to say that you will stay for another 180 days or basically move out from the country and come back that is five years visa that visa costs something like 300 350 euros per person basically you apply as their digital nomad and so on and then your family can apply based on your visa uh, what are requirements basically you have to have show that you have savings something like 500 thousand but it's uh, something like 13 to 15 thousand euros basically show that okay i have money or you can show your freelancer portfolio i also did that i basically showed both and you showed that okay you have your freelancer portfolio you're doing freelance job you have invoices income and so on that proves that you basically have money to live on well you will be in thailand so that's 300 euros per person. Also, I paid to agency who did all the paperwork for me. That was something like, let's say 400 euros for that service for first visa and then something like 180 for each basically next uh, visa so that's whatever do your math okay that's visas then obviously flights so basically i'm flying from riga to helsinki to bangkok i choose a premium seats which basically a little bit more expensive than economic flights were around three thousand euros for family of three and basically you have included one bag one checked in bag 22 kilos checked in bag so we bought one extra checked in bag we were on flight with five bags and that was basically whatever a little bit more something like 70 euros for one bag basically all together something like three thousand for flight i had to pay for a dog <laughs> that's extra getting dog in flight was something like 150 170 euros but to get dog to thailand you have to import it so i paid back in latvia for all the paperwork something like around 100 euros then here in thailand for to agency who basically did all the paperwork to get permit to import dog that was another 100 and then i paid few hundred more in the airport like import tax for the dog so altogether to get dog here to thailand was around 500 euros shipping stuff from latvia so i sent four boxes with stuff from latvia to thailand it was there inside my apple studio display one of those m7 samsung monitors which was broken on the way my daughter's computer motorcycle helmet then few more things basically i don't know random stuff in total that was five boxes and something like 90 kilos of stuff i paid for sending that stuff uh, to Thailand something like 700 euros to shipping company but customs in Thailand taxed me for 1300 euros on, the, on that stuff basically I paid about 2000 euros for shipping that stuff it wasn't worth it actually could sell most of that stuff basically apple studio display it will be better to sell it and just buy it here again then yeah hotel for first week here again another few hundred euros for hotel also i had before moving away from latvia leaving latvia i basically sold my car basically yeah that was tricky i at the end of my lease of the car and i should basically give it back to the bank or sell or buy out and sell so i bought it out sold one few thousand euros some like 3000 euros uh, on that deal but uh, then i needed to rent a car for last three weeks in latvia because you know we drive it uh, around a lot in those last three weeks that was 700 euros to rent a car for those three and a half weeks insurance i didn't buy any insurance yet because my credit card covers travel insurance for first three months but basically that's something to think about as soon as we arrived i got mobile cards for mobile data i'm paying like uh, 900 bucks in a month for it it's 
not expensive, whatever. So big chunks of money that I had to pay. Basically, that was for daughter's school, basically for getting her accepting for first months in the school and so on. Basically, that was 4,000 euros. Uh, that was basically first six months and um, acceptance fee, something like that. It was something like 4,000 euros. Basically, I will need to pay for second half of the year. That will be again 4,000 euros again. It's basically around 8,000 euros in a year to study here in international school for here. And you can find cheaper and you can find more expensive schools. I will say something like about 10k in a year for studies in international school is average price here in Bangkok. You can find something as cheap as starting from 3 to 4,000 euros and up to 30,000 something like 25. I think most expensive that I saw was 25,000 euros in a in a year. So that was a big chunk of money. And then rent, of course. We are renting quite a big home. We have three bedrooms on second floor, four bathrooms, a big, really big living room on first floor. This office room and kitchen and some whatever maintenance uh, <laughs> uh, rooms like i don't know storage room washer room what else not i don't know it's, it's a big house really big it's too big for us but we're renting it big because our friends are coming to visit us our family coming to visit us and so on basically we have plenty of space for everyone and i am paying for this house uh, 1000 in a month and basically we had to pay first month forward and two months security deposit so three thousand euros for rent uh, electricity internet everything it's relatively cheap food you can eat more expensive than in europe or way less expensive than in europe so those are prices so yeah that's that roughly what were what were big numbers 4k school 3k rent 3k flight that's 10 already altogether i will say it's less than 20 probably a little bit more than 15 000 euros that's that you know